Well, this is slightly awkward due to um, a bit of a recording mishap. I was forced to use new recording software than I used before. I kind of lost all the audio. Uh, what would you have? Well, not all the audio, Very but well. uh, the whole commentary track for this episode. So I'm recording this after the fact, which uh, might make things a bit awkward and a bit less snappy well. than usual. Uh, for that, I apologize. Anyway, let's get on with the episode and the fun, kind of. So yes, we are going to do some magical shopping. So we now have ten thousand gold pieces. We are exploring the wilds here. Hmm, forest? Don't know. I'm actually kind of confused. I don't remember so many forests here in this area. Hmm. Nice flowery meadows. Bah! We should just run all this over with her and turn it into a giant parking lot. Yes, we can make. And then we can have people pay for parking there. And like, even if. Oh, wait. Backstabbing wolves! Give Again, you my victory. Leave me alone, I do not like dogs. Yeah. You wish? I'll make a, well. I'll make a coat out of you yet, poor creature. So yes, uh, turn it into a parking lot, then charge people for walking and parking on it, and charge them, uh, even if they stand just five minutes on it, we'll charge them for an hour. That's brilliant. Hey, uh, I did not uh, remember the edge of the map already being here. It's really dark in this uh, particular map out at night. It kind of messes with my uh, knowledge of the, the whole map of the game. A hi-hat should be somewhere here in the middle. At least that's what I remember. Wait! Oh, a ghoul? Let's kill the ghoul. That's, that's no problem at this point. Or actually, it's a ghast. Not a ghoul. Still easy. Kaboof. We're a well armed band of psychopaths, after all. Well, you are all psychopaths, and I am uh, just a businessman. A smart businessman. If you insist. Hello! Is there anyone in this creepy abandoned cabin? Anyone who would mind me stealing your loot? No? Hurry up! Glorious. All right, all yay, right! Yay, yay. Armor off! Lock picks out! Well, that bag is already full. Hmm. We are gonna make a fair bit of. Now we can dump that. We'll dump that then, problem. That works. Open and it's just a little chip. <laughs> That's disappointing. Now, I think we will rest here for a second. Well, uh, really, we don't really need to rest all that much. Armor back on. Good. What would you have me do? Oh. All right, all right. We can't. Why can't we rest here? It's an abandoned right, cabin right. in the middle of the forest. If there's any place in the middle of the forest that seems like a good spot to rest, that seems to be it. Oh well. Now where is High Hedge? I'm really confused here. Hmm. Cliffs? I don't remember that cliffs being here. Well, I should have pressed that, uh, I think there's a, a little sign over there that would have told us where we are. But I forgot to press it, so we'll never know. Maybe it's more towards the middle. Hello, pal! Ah! There we go. I remember him. Whoa! Slow down there! I'm trying to plan the greatest heists here. With all of your tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. Of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say that loud first. Okay, okay. So here's the plan. There's a big time mage, mage living just over that uh, that rise. Magic items scattered all over the place. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm betting there's tr tr I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got uh, two of these hideous flesh monsters guarding him, and no shadows where I can look. 
brute force is useless against the monsters. Everything is useless. Uh, there must be a way to outwit the witless, but I'd be damned if I know. Ah, oh, hell, I guess I'll just go be finding a halfling visit to fill its best to somewhere. This heist is yours. Who? Oh, well, don't mind if we do, then. How very gracious of you. See? That's gentlemanly honor amongst thieves. Thieves are most of some of the most civilized people in the galaxy, don't you know? You just have to have a knife at their throat, that's all. So this is High Hedge, what we've been looking for. Kind of a magical fortress tower thing in the middle of uh, nowhere. All right, all right. Now I could just talk to the mage in the center and then solve all of this, but uh, Your first let's see. Lives end here. Ow, those things Your wish? Well. hurt. <laughs> it's hard. You must Be direct. Yeah, mm. I'm fighting here is really wrong. Well, that's not that Hurry hard. If you insist. Brute first useless. Ha! You just need to have enough brute force. What would you have me do? Your wish? See, it's just like any Very other problem. Well. Throw enough money at it, and it will be solved. That or guns. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's number two. Hello. Everyone attack and I'll just yes, stand back. Assist. Give us victory! <laughs> Your life ends here. Sploosh. Gotta love that giving. Oh, yeah, normally these flesh combs need are really what hard to deal with. All right, all right. Since they are, I believe, immune to damage that is not done with a magical weapon. But since at this point we're all loaded up on magical weapons, they really aren't that big of a problem anymore for us. However, I don't see any magical items scattered about here like promise. In fact, I don't see much of anything around here except this thing. This was some amazing graphics back in the day. It still kind of looks impressive, well designed. Yeah, that was an awesome thing with the fire, water, air, and I think the other is earth. I be Thalantir, a mighty mage of Beragost. I can't have much patience for strangers in my, uh, my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale. From the looks of you, you couldn't even afford the items uh, I have for sale. In truth, that mageling is too rude for my liking. I'm tempted to learn to teach him to be more manly and hospitable. But Tempus, forgive me. What is the point of ch challenging someone so obviously weak? <laughs> Your wish? Yeah, he's a grumpy fellow. All right, all right. Such a pissant town. Talk with him I sincerely hope you have a reason to be buff for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Rumors talk of a powerful mage that lives here. If it's you, I'd like to speak with you. Rumors? <laughs> There's no ma mage here that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale that you wish to sell. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That guy is kind of like Skizny. If he were a little bit less proactive, more solitary. Speech and be gone. Uh, Dawn, yeah, I think Dawn has the highest charisma mm. of the part, so he'll do Why the do trading. Such a pissant town. For the best prices. Yeah. Why do I live in such a pissant yes. town? Here we go. Give us your magic, you fool. So yeah, we do some quick selling of the uh, things in our inventory that we know we can lose. Oh, that's junk. Cursed items. Whatever. Ooh, there's a little dog barking outside. That's what you get with later. Voiceovers. Pick up a bit more. Hmm. Oh, sell that, sell that. There's a bunch of gems, the bracers. Oh, that's just worth a lot of money. 
Now the Wizarding Sword, it is a really good and rare sword, but I don't think anyone in the party uses short sword, so we we decide to sell it. Now the plus two armor is something we are probably going to hold on to. Since I think it's one of the best thief armors in the game, and maybe we might want to switch into a thief somewhere down the line for the party. So we'll hold on to that. Now, literal steer, yes, those are worth 3,000 gold pieces. As I said before, they are worth an amazing amount of money. And that's, law-wise, I think that's actually, uh, well, let's look at the potion first. Oh, yes, in the description it says oddly murky. That means that potion is faulty. That means that if you drink it, uh, you're just going to end up getting poisoned. So we'll sell that. But yeah, I believe law-wise, the real tears are actually um, the stones. That that necklace is made of are actually used to make um, Elan stones, they're called, of so Eon stones. And they are kind of magical gems that are really wanted by mages. There we go, a bunch of scrolls, we'll sort through them later. Which ones uh, we already know and which ones we can sell. Most of them we are end up going to end up selling anyway. So now we have 20,000 gold pieces and we can look at some of the rare items he has. He has a lot of potions and a, and a potion case, which will help with inventory management a lot. It's kind of like an ammunition or a scroll case except for potions. A lot of scrolls, uh, spells as you can see. Yes, yes, those are all nice. Now what specials? These two items, the Horn of Kaskaroth is fun, but I rarely use it, but the Claw of Kaskaroth is pretty amazing. Little is known about this item other than the Claw itself was taken from the corpse of the great beast Kaskaroth. It has multiple enchantments and all become activated when the Claw is worn as a ring. Well, it has to be a really small Claw then. I mean, if you can wear it as a ring, it wouldn't be bigger than your finger. So. Is it a great beast with baby hands or something? Yeah. The image of the wearer becomes blurred and more difficult to hit with weapons or target with spells. It has one drawback, however. It seems to fuel its power of the blood of the wearer. Because of this, the wearer of the claw will often be more sickly and therefore more susceptible to poisons. As you can see, it has really nice bonuses. It does reduce the constitution to, to by two, and save versus death uh, by two, which is uh, resistance against poisons. Save versus death, at least in this game. In the next game, you actually have death spells, and then uh, yeah, then that becomes uh, save versus death also becomes good against that. But that's really great, and well, that's what we sold him so. We are going to, uh, let's buy the claw of Kaskarov. Or actually the weird little baby hand of Kaskarov. It's really weird that it's worn as a ring. I, c I can imagine, why wasn't it an amulet? I mean, that makes sense. You could wear a big claw, kind of as... Well, you could do it around your throat and then it would be kind of like a hand choking you. That would be cool, but... Uh, you could even have the severed claw on a little rope or chain and have it around your around your neck. Would be heavy, but you can do it. Right, here we have a cut. We've done a lot of selling. Of all the gems and stuff we have. And I guess about uh, thousands. And now we have bought a few scrolls. Such as invisibility. Flame arrow, that sort of thing. And we are going to end up uh, learning most of these. Which is nice. Adds to our spell repertoire a bit. Hmm. Thankfully, we both have both Edwin and my character. Oh, that's a failure. I have twenty. Uh, no, not twenty. That would what be would fun you have if we have do? twenty intelligence. All no, right, we all have right. eighteen intelligence, which gives us, I 
think a 90 or 95 percent chance to learn new spells so there isn't much chance of failure normally if you have a mage with a lower score you usually uh, kind of uh, quaff potions of um, genius to raise it and then well, yeah then you're solid now we are deciding on uh, where we're going to wear the ring of Kaskarov. We can wear it ourselves, but as you see, it will drop our hit points quite a bit with the lowering of constitution. So we are considering that. But then if we give it to Dawn, you see somehow his hit points don't lower that much. And that's probably because he is a paladin. And doesn't get much bonus uh, hit points from anything, I think, beyond 15 or 16. But otherwise, I don't really understand why. So she's a fighter. Well, at home, it might be because she... Um, Charlotte already has a low constitution, so that might, might be why. Yeah, we equip it. And it is cursed, so we can't remove it now anymore. Little baby hand squeezes our finger tight. Creepy. Your wish? All right, all right. So we're done with shopping. All right, all right. And the rest of the area honestly doesn't offer us that much. I'll probably clear it out uh, sometime off screen. Yeah. Oh, that's... Ow! Ow! I didn't expect these skeletons to hit us. Still, they ain't no match, especially in close quarters. They're kind of crap. And they don't have anything good. There we go. They do have the skulls, which we need. We need those for a later quest, so we already pick one up. Areas littered with the things. So yeah, I think now we will um, go to this area, Sea Watch. There's some fun quests here to do that I want to show you. So off we go. Very well. One day and eight hours. That's quite a journey. Oh god! Oh god! Scum. Right. Hurry up. Smart tactics. Run through the main line. Engage the archers so they can't fire their arrows anymore. Or their bows. How do you I don't wanna talk. You are no, these are no threat, there's just many of them. No running! Men are Your worthless lives end here. Oh, there's another group. Annoying wretches, they won't what stop would running. You have if you oh, fine, we'll turn them into fillet then. Go past them, all right. Hurry up! Yeah. Hobgoblins in this game are kind of junk. In actually, in, in yeah, in second edition they're kind of junk, Hobgoblins. But in third you edition, and you look tired. Sure, Dawn, sure. I think you're projecting, buddy. But in 3rd edition and higher, they actually are really cool. They're kind of... Uh, I actually played a Hobgoblin in a D&D &D game for a while. And they're kind of much more organized, Some militaristic and smarter. Your kind of like if goblins weren't so stupid. Cool. Children screaming things. If it bleeds, I can kill it. Mm -hmm. By Tempus Shield! If Tempus wills it. Well, Tempus, uh, Tempus doesn't will it, but I do! My will is a lot more what important. You, if you insist. Gods, there. They're just people who had a long time to, to level up, that's all. Um, well, we'll just 
end up doing a bit of uh, looting, finding a nice place on this bluff here. Then we'll rest up, and the next time we return, we'll do the quests in this area. This area. There are some, as I said, some fun ones I want to show you. I have such things to show you. Dark things, dirty things. Uh, not really all that dirty, but they are adventurous things. That's a, that's a plus. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Yes, this is enough pre-recording for me. So this was the episode. Till then. <laughs>